with many provincial roads now being added to Sandal's mandate to manage and maintain South Africa's national road network, Sandal has changed its operational structure to a model based on provincial head offices. The nine provincial offices will have their own provincial head and the change in structure will enable even greater consultation with local municipalities, communities and relevant stakeholders. The newly appointed head of Sandwell's Limpopo office is Madota Mtembu. We spoke to Madota about the new role and about his journey with Sandwell. Now, let's start with your journey, my daughter. How exactly did you decide you wanted to become an engineer and how did you then end up joining the Sandroll team? Okay, um, I think as a start, um, okay, I, I grew up um, in a village somewhere in KZN, um, went to primary school, uh, to high school. But I think when I was at high school, I, I wouldn't say that um, initially I wanted to, to become an engineer, but it's something that um, sort of came later, maybe when I was in metric, then I got a bursary back then uh, from the National Department of Transport, um, which then enabled me to go to study at the university. And then I studied uh, civil engineering and at the time, of course, you, you know that uh, when you had a bursary, you needed to come back and then work back the years that, you know, they had uh, uh, sort of sponsored you. So, so I started in Devon, which is now UKZN, uh, Westville campus. And then when I finished, then I move over to, to Haute. And then take us through your journey of you actually then joining the Sandral team and how you've now grown into your position of being head of province for Limpopo. Okay, so as I've indicated, uh, starting with uh, what, what was called Houtrans, that's the Department of Roads and, and Transport in Haute. Um, that, that, that's when I came in as a graduate engineer. There was a program for, for graduates there, like we have here at Sandro. Um, so I worked there for five and a half years. Then I applied at Sandro, beginning of 2008. Um, then I joined Sandro around June, beginning of June 2008, um, as um, a maintenance uh, project manager. So basically that's how I was introduced to the Sandal family and uh, since I came in here, I, I, I enjoyed what I was doing. Um, so I've been with Sandal since then, um, uh, since about almost 17 years now since uh, I joined the Sandal family. Yeah. And what would you say in the past 17 years have been some of the projects you are most proud of when you look at them today? <clears throat> Of course, I think Sandral gave me the opportunity uh, uh, to, if I can call it, to specialize on, on, on routine road maintenance um, activities and project management side of things. Um, but also, I've been involved in other conventional projects. Uh, one of the highlights, I mean, I was part of the construction of the Heidelberg uh, TCC, uh, which is a way bridge operations. Uh, I was seconded there to, to be an assistant resident engineer. I, I, I liked what I, you know, I was exposed to there. Uh, each time I pass there along the N3, just outside of uh, Heidelberg, I'm very proud that this is the project that I personally supervised. Um, um, I've been involved in some uh, maintenance, periodic maintenance uh, projects. Um, uh, just east, is it east or west of Woodsprate uh, in Maruleng municipality, there's the, our national road there called the R36. We did a nice, about, it, it, it was a project with, with sub-projects in, in, in it um, uh, for resurfacing. Uh, well, what I'm proud about that project is that, I mean, we delivered it on time, the quality was good, the, the, those projects are still standing, um, and we never had issues of project overruns and all that, so I'm very proud of that. 
That is certainly impressive, uh, I must say. And it seems like you've been part of mega projects. I know that you're also part of the N4 mega road safety uh, campaign. Can you talk to us a bit about that as well in terms of your personal interests when it comes to road safety? Mm, yeah, as, as, as part of being a maintenance, uh, I'd call it a junior or project manager uh, for, 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 for so many years, I think most of the things that we deal with, yeah, there, there, there's a couple of elements in terms of making sure that our network is safe um, and, and, and for the motoring public that they know when you travel on a national road, you're not going to encounter issues that might lead to your, to your danger. Um, so road safety, as you know, it's also part of the Sandal Pillar of the five pillars in terms of the Sandal strategy. So road safety is very important. In fact, that's what we do on a daily basis, eliminating potholes, making sure that the road are kept at an acceptable level of service, um, and also being part of the campaigns to, to educate uh, our communities out there about um, the importance of road safety. Uh, we as Sandal being the custodian of the road infrastructure. We, before we go out and preach other people that they, they must uh, uh, respect uh, road rules and regulations and all that, we need to ensure that the infrastructure that we provide is, is as I've said, is at a high, is a high level. I think our road network is one of the best networks in Africa and possibly in the, in the whole world. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I participate in, in making sure that we do provide a reliable, safe road infrastructure that contributes to, 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 to road safety. Thank you so much for having such informative campaigns. Can you also speak to us about Sanral's mandate on national roads? I know that some of the provincial roads will be moving under Sanral's network. Can you maybe explain the process to us? Yeah, so if, if, if I read the history of Sandra, when they were formed back in 98, I'm told that they started with roughly just over 7,000 kilometers nationally. But since uh, 2008, the network has been growing. And um, I think pe people still associate Sandra with the end routes, your N1s, your N2s, and, and so on and so on. But over the years, since 1998, We've been inheriting and incorporating uh, the provincial network uh, across the country. That's why now we, we own a lot of R roads, R21, R300, and, 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 and so on. So, so what, what, what has been happening um, since then is that um, across the country, there is a strategic network whether that network is sitting with us or with the provinces. Uh, so so from, from time to time, there will be a request from a specific province to say, uh, we want this network, this number of roads to be transferred to Sandral. So the premier of the province will write a letter to the National Minister of Transport uh, requesting the transfer. And then once that is approved, then that provincial network or that number of roads owned by the province at a time then gets gazetted and then declared as, uh, as national roads. Well, my daughter, it sounds like you have quite a big task on your hand when it comes to being the head of province for Limpopo, but we wish you all the best in your journey. And what would you say the journey looks like um, going ahead for you and Sanral? Mm, yeah, well, of course, as I've said, I think, as I've said, first of all, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that has been afforded uh, to me. Um, I'm looking forward um, to making sure that uh, the, the, the standard, the high standard that Sana has set over the years and is renowned for, that it is kept. Um, we we and probably our, even I can't speak for my other new colleagues, but we are not here now to drop the standard. So I'm, I'm very, very careful to, to make sure that we maintain the high standard. Sandral is a well-known state entity. 
not just in South Africa, but across the world in terms of providing world infrastructure project in terms of road construction. So that's my intent that we, 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 we continue on that and improve on that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that also um, I will get the necessary support from my colleagues, from my superiors, from the CEO, from the board, uh, to make sure that we, 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 we deliver this world infrastructure as a sort of um, standard in terms of the road construction projects. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to setting up the, the, the new offices in Bulugwane to, to interact with our stakeholders there, with the government of the Limpopo province, the MECs, the district mayors, the local mayors, and everybody in the Limbomba province um, to, to, to work together. And I think um, it's, it's, I'm just hopeful that um, it's going to be good, a good working relationship with everybody involved. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Andata, thank you so much for joining us today on Sandal TV. And we certainly wish you the best with the journey ahead. Okay, thank you very much.